We are going to be joining our daisy squares, which is the same as any regular granny square. Uh, the clusters of three with the chain one in between. Um, and this is how we're going to join it. We're going to join it, um, join as you go for the last round. For the last round, I'm going to be using this oatmeal color. So let's get started. You will need a hook, whatever size hook you're using for your granny squares or goes along with your yarn. I am using a five millimeter. You'll also need a darning needle and a pair of scissors. To start joining our squares, we're gonna to have to do the outside round completely around one square. So I'm gonna join my oatmeal color. I'm making a slip knot and putting it onto my hook. And I'm going to join, this is where I joined my previous round. I'm going to go over that tail. So I'm going to start my next join in the previous corner. So put your hook in, grab your yarn, bring it back, and slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to start by making one shell in this corner, which is going to be this shell of the next round. And when I finish, I'm going to be joining in this corner. So chain three, one, two, and three, and make two double crochets into this corner space. So one, and two. So there's two double crochets and a chain three. So that's one shell, and it's going to be our last corner of this, our last shell of this corner. So drop your tail, chain one to get to your next space, and you're just doing your regular granny square pattern, which is three double crochets into each space going around your work. And you'll have to sew in your tail later. Oops. Like that. So keep going around. Three, du three double crochets into each space with a chain one in between. I'll meet you at the next corner just in case you have forgotten how to do corners. So pause the video and I will meet you just ahead. Here we are in our next, we're getting to our next corner space. So I did my shell and my chain one. And remember how to tell if you did your chain one, you'll just see one loop underneath your hook. So wrap your yarn, three double crochets into this corner space. One, two, three. Chain three, as we have been doing in our previous rounds. Push your stitches back to get some space. You want to be going over top of this chain, not over top of your previous stitches. And three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one to get to your next space and now just keep making your shells all along your side. So that's what you do for your corners. You know how to do your sides. I will meet you back at the end of this round. I've gone all the way around. I'm gonna make my last shell into this corner space so I can join. So three double crochets. One, two, and three. And a chain three. One, two, three and I'm going to slip stitch to this third chain one two and three so I'm just going to push my hook in I try to get two loops on my hook well actually I make sure I get two loops on my hook if you get one loop on your hook it can be like you'll see it like a gape like a hole and slip stitch to join so bring the yarn back and through the loop that was on your hook chain one to secure your work cut your yarn and pull your hook to tighten this down. So that is your first square for join as you go. And we've gone all the way around. So this one we're gonna set aside. That one is gonna go on top here. We're gonna be joining to it. Our next square, we're gonna do, do one side. We're gonna do one side like this from here up and then join across, okay? So make another slip knot with your joining color. In my case, it's this oatmeal. Slip knot, enough of a tail to weave in with a needle. 
because with this traditional granny square style we can't really totally hide our ends. So this is where my join is. So again I'm going to start in the corner before my join. It's just a habit. Always good to know what you did. So slip stitch to join into the corner space and chain three to pretend it's a double crochet. One, two, and three. I'm going to go over this tail a little tiny bit. So I'm holding it and make two more double crochets into that corner space. So one and two. Now can just continue along, drop your tail, continue along the granny square making a shell into each space going along and I will meet you at the end. Into this corner space I'm going to make one shell, so just finishing this one side. So three double crochets into the corner. Now we're going to be joining to this one here as we work our way back along. So chain one and put your hook down into this corner of the previous granny square, the one you've already done your edging on. Put your hook down inside that, that uh, hole, the space. Loop your yarn around your hook and bring it up and slip stitch to join. So the first chain counts as one, our slip stitch counts as one, and we will chain one again for our corner. So that's one, two, and three, same as our chain three for our corners. Now we're going to finish our corner here with three double crochets. Same as usual, one, two, and three. Now I'm going to put my hook down into the next space and slip stitch to join. So I'm grabbing my yarn from under, bringing it up through that space and slip stitching to join. So that counts as our chain one. Now into the next space I'm doing three double crochets. So instead of doing chain one in between our shells like we do, we're doing a slip stitch to the previous square. So now I've done my shell, my three double crochets. I'm putting my hook down into the space, grabbing my yarn on my hook, bringing it back up, and slip stitching to join. Your option although I can show you more at the end, your option, instead of doing a slip stitch, you can also do a single crochet. That makes it a bit looser. You can try that out for yourself. I'm just going to do slip stitch. It's the most common way. So three more double crochets into the next shell. One, two, and three. and into the space of the previous, uh, the one I already edged. I'm putting my hook down, grabbing my yarn, bringing it back, and slip stitching to join. And into the next space, three double crochets. So you just keep going along like this, all the way along this one side. One, two, and three. Oh, my kids are having a great time in the yard, of course. Uh, so into this next space, put your hook down inside, grab your yarn on your hook, bring it back up, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn into the next space, three double crochets to make your shell. One, two, and three. Into the space of the one you've already finished, put your hook down, so always go from the top, always remember to go from the top, grab your yarn, bring it back, slip stitch to join. And three double crochets in the next space. One, two, and three. Put your hook down inside, grab your yarn, bring it back, slip stitch to join. 
into your corner space, we're going to make three double crochets. One. Two. Three. Corner space, you're going to chain one, right? Then you're going to put your hook down into the into the corner of the previous round that you've already edged. Bring your yarn up, slip stitch, chain one to finish your chain three combo. Turn your work and do your shell all in this corner to finish. So one, two, and three. Chain one to get to your next space and then work your shells all the way back and around this square. I will meet you at the end where we do our join and we'll move on to our next square. So I finished my shell, chain three, one, two, two, and three, and slip stitch to the top of this chain three to join. So slip stitch, chain one, Cut your tail, leaving enough to sew in with a needle later, and pull your yarn through the loop and tighten to secure. So now you have two squares joined on just the one side. So now we are going to do the next square we're going to join is here. We're going to join this square on this side. So I'll show you how to do this join. So you're going to start the same way. Let's put this up. You're going to start the same way by doing this edge here. So do one edge with your joining color. So make a slip knot. Put it on your hook. Put it into your corner space. Slip stitch to join. Chain three, one, two, and three. That counts as your first double crochet. So two more double crochets into this into the same corner space to make your shell that you're going to join to at the end of this round. Drop your tail, chain one, and work your way back along this side, doing three double crochets into each space with a chain one in between. So same as always, we're going to put our finish our side by putting one shell into this corner space. So three double crochets. One, two, and three, and a chain one. Now we're going to be joining our work. So we're going to slip stitch into this corner, but we're going to slip stitch to the corner opposite. So not the one just touching like we did for the first join, but when you're joining on the side where there's one kitty corner, you're going to slip stitch to the one in, in the kitty corner. And that helps you, it makes like an X shape here instead of a gaping hole. And we don't want holes after all this hard work. So put your hook down into the opposite corner. Grab your yarn and bring it back and slip stitch to join chain one because it's a corner. Wrap your yarn and we're going to be doing three double crochets into this corner space. One, two, and three. Now put your hook down into the next space. So we finished with our corner. We joined our corner so ignore this because we this is the corner we chose. Now we're going to join into this next space here slip stitch to join and keep going back. So here we're doing three double crochets into the square that doesn't have an edge yet. And then put your hook down into the next space, grab your yarn, bring it back, slip stitch to join, three double crochets into the next space, one, Oops. That is one, two, this is three. Put your hook down 
into the next space, grab your yarn, bring it back, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets to make a shell on the square that needs the edge. And then put your hook down into the space, grab your yarn, bring it back, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the square that needs the edge. Two, oops. and then put your hook down into the space of your previous square, grab your yarn, bring it back, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets, in to make a shell, one, two, and three. Put your hook down into the space of the square you've already finished, slip stitch to join, and then you're going to make your next shell into this corner space. Now depending how many rounds you've done of your granny squares, your granny squares are going to, you're going to have more joining to do or less joining to do. But your corners are going to be the same. The whole, the whole technique is going to be the same. So now into this corner space, we're going to start with a chain one to get our chain of three. We're going to slip stitch, well we're going to put our hook down into that corner space of the previous round grab your yarn, bring it back, and slip stitch to join. Chain one for your chain three. Turn your work, wrap your yarn, and three double crochets into this corner space to finish. One, two, and three. Chain one to get to your next space, make a shell. So now you're going to finish going around this square so keep going, just doing your regular granny square pattern. I will meet you at the end when we join. So into our last corner space, I'm doing a shell of three double crochets. Chaining three, one, two, and three. And I'm going to slip stitch to the third chain. One, two, and three. Keeping two loops on my hook. Slip stitch to join chain one, cut my yarn, pull my hook up and yarn through and pull to secure. So now we have joined three of our granny squares. Now we're going to be joining this last one. You can join your granny squares in any order depending how many you have. Generally People make one long row and then they start joining the second row all the way along and then the third row all the way along, etc, etc. But for this video, I'm just going to be joining the four because that gives you all the technique that you need. So again, I'm going to be doing... I'll put this guy over here. Now for this square, I'm going to be doing the one side here as usual. We always start with doing one side of the square we're going to join. So I'm going to join my yarn by making a slip knot, leaving enough of a tail to sew in with a needle later, and putting it on my hook, and putting it into a corner space, and slip stitching to join. Then you do your chain three, which counts as a double crochet, two double crochets into that corner to finish your shell. There's our shell. Dropping your tail, chain one, and making a shell in each space going back along until you reach the corner again. So I finished my shell. I'm going to chain one, and we're joining like this. So I'm going to put my hook down into this corner here, grab my yarn and bring it back, and slip stitch to join and a chain one to finish my corner of three. Now into the same corner space, I'm going to finish my corner. So three double crochets into the same corner space. And then into the next space, slip stitch to join. Remember to put your hook in 
from the top. One, two, three. Into the next space, put your hook down into the space, grab your yarn, bring it back, slip stitch, and three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Put your hook down into the next space, grab your yarn, bring it back, and slip stitch to join. Three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. Put your hook down into the opposite space, grab the yarn, bring it back, slip stitch to join. Three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three into this next space of the round, the square you've already edged. Put your hook down, grab your yarn, bring it back, slip stitch to join. Three double crochets into the next space. Oops. Into the next space, put your hook down, grab your yarn, bring it back, slip stitch to join. Into this corner space, we're going to start by making our one shell, so three double crochets. One, two, and three. And chaining one, to start counting as our chain three. And now we're going to join to this opposite corner. Oh, there's my French Bulldog. It's quite loud. Okay, he's very loud, but he's cute. Uh, we're going to be joining into this opposite square. So from this corner to this corner, these corners to these corners. Okay, so we did our chain one. I'm putting my hook down, and this is a bit awkward because obviously there's not much space, but all you have to do is get the yarn back up and slip stitch to join. Now we chain one to count as our three. Now we're going to turn our work and finish our corner here by putting in three more double crochets. So one, two, and three. So that finishes our corner. Now we're going to do, we're ignoring this corner because our corner is already joined. We're going to join into the first space going back along the side. So put your hook down, grab your yarn, bring it back, slip stitch to join. Three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. slip stitch into the next space to join. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the next space. So you can see how easy this is. Once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. But when you're trying to figure it out, it can be a bit challenging in the beginning. So just pause the video as many times as you need. Watch it again. Uh, but you'll get the hang of it really quick two and three. Slip stitch into the next space to join. Three double crochets into the square that still needs the edge. One, two, and three. Sl put your hook down into the next space, grab your yarn, slip stitch to join three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. Put your hook down into the next space, grab your arm, bring it back, and slip stitch to join. Three double crochets, which is now starting into your corner space. One, two, and three. Chain one, because it's a corner. 
ignore your tails they're just basically in the way put your hook down into the corner space slip stitch to join and chain one now turn your work we've done our join now it's all nice and neat in the center and you can see that it's there's no hole it's very um, it's closed because we, we joined kitty corner so it actually makes a really nice pattern all on its own and it does lie quite flat as well because these pretty much these stitches pretty much lie side by side so I really like this joining technique now this is all we have left to do is just finish this one side so I did my chain one now I am going to wrap my yarn and make three double crochets to finish my corner. One, two, and three. Chain one to get to my next space and make shells and chain ones going all the way back. So I will meet you where we join. Into our last corner space we're going to make our last shell. So three double crochets. One, two, and three chain three, one, two, and three, and slip stitch to the third chain, so one, two, and three, making sure to get two loops of any sort onto your hook. Bring your yarn back and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure, cut your yarn, pull your hook, pull your hook and your yarn up, and pull down to secure.